With the transfer window snapping shut last night, we're here at the offices at the Etihad taking a closer look at what happened in the build-up to 11pm. Having done most of our deals early this year, it may have seemed fairly quiet, but the focus was well and truly on those players leaving the club. Having been spotted arriving in Italy, Micah Richards' move to Fiorentina was the first deal to go through. After 12 years in Manchester, he moves to the Serie A side on a season-long loan and had this to say on Twitter. City will always be in my heart and soul. Thank you to everyone at the club over the last 12 years. City till I die. Fast forward to 20 to 11 when it was confirmed Emma Hughes, already on loan at Wigan Athletic, will be moving to the club on a permanent basis. The Welsh international joined City age 16 and played several games during our pre-season tour of America. His switch to Wigan follows a successful loan spell there, having previously been on loan at Blackburn. And finally, at around half past 11, we confirmed our final transfer out, Alvaro Negredo. Injured during pre-season, the strikers joined Valencia on a season-long loan with an obligation to buy after that time. And earlier, he wrote this letter to the fans. I can only say thank you to the club and the fans that have supported me since the first day I wore this jersey. Today I say goodbye to Manchester City, but I take with me many memories and great moments that will live with me forever. Well this summer we've strengthened our squad with the likes of Sanya and Mangala and this boardroom is where most come to have the first photographs taken of them putting pen to paper. Well we caught up with Stu Brennan from the MEN to get his take on deadline day. I think it's been a very good summer for City. I know some fans are disappointed that there was nothing happening on deadline day, but that's simply because all the work was done earlier in the summer and the signings who've come in. I think Fernando could be the bargain of the summer. I think he's been excellent so far. Uh, Mangala remains to be seen, but you know, there have been six good, solid signings and I think City are a stronger squad. Of course, three players left us. What are your thoughts on those? Well, obviously the sad one is Micah. I think everyone feels a, has got a bit of a heavy heart about Micah leaving us, you know, the great character. Um, but over and above that, he's, he's been an excellent servant to City. He's been here since he was a lad. He loves the club, and I think he always will. Um, the club loves him with good reason. Um, and everyone knows about his infectious laughter and his, his love of a joke and that kind of thing. But the other side of it was excellent footballer. People forget that the part he played in that title in 11-12, in you know, he, uh, he was nominated for Player of the Year that year, which shows you how good he was. He's been unlucky with injury. I'm lucky that Pablo Zabaleta has been absolutely outstanding the last couple of seasons so I'm sure everyone wish, joins me in wishing him well. Don't forget this weekend Soccer X returns to Manchester as part of the global football convention there'll be a free football festival in City Square former playing legends Dieter Hamann, Carlos Valderrama and Faustino Aspria are also taking part in a special football match. Well, that's all from us. We will be back on Friday for a special look at our women's team as they prepare for their semi-final Continental Cup clash against Chelsea. We'll see you then.